Hey guys, this is James with Rogue Duelist Trade, and on this channel we talk about upcoming and current Yu-Gi-Oh product, and whether or not you should invest your money in order to profit. On today's video, we're gonna be going over part two of the risk analysis for Battles of Legend Armageddon. So if you guys haven't seen part one, we discussed potential chase cards in this product, cards that are potentially seeing buyouts because of cards coming out in this product, and also cards that you should consider investing in. If you haven't seen part one of this risk analysis yet, there should be a link popping up my head right now. Go ahead and check it out. And you can also find the link to that video in the description down below. But on this video, we're gonna go over the analysis in its entirety, going over all of the different metrics, measuring whether or not the risk is high or low to invest in Battles of Legend Armageddon. Now guys, remember, this information is just to help you consider your investments as you do your research. So I definitely advise do your own research before you invest in any product. If you haven't done it already for the YouTube algorithm, like this video, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell. That way you will be notified every single time I upload a new video. And guys, follow me on Instagram and Facebook. You can find links in the description down below. Also, if you would like to join my Yu-Gi-Oh! Investments Facebook group, you can find a link to that in the description down below as well. Guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and complete this analysis and decide whether or not we should consider investing money in Battles of Legend Armageddon. So guys, in my last video, we talked about chase cards, but real quick, we're going to be getting the Numeron engine coming in this product, which is going to completely wreck the meta. It's an engine that absolutely I think is underrated right now. People are not realizing how crazy it is and what it can do. And not only that, we're going to be getting a Starlight Rare Utopia. We're going to be getting the 10,000th card in all of Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG, 10,000 Dragon, which is getting a special 10,000 Secret Rare Rarity. We're going to be getting the Fossil cards from Jim Crocodile. We're going to be getting Fire Flint Lady. We're going to be getting the YCS 2018 card, Chaos Dragon Armageddon, which is the cover card of this set. Some of the rarity upgrades that we're getting, the Cross Sheep, O-Lion, and Destruction Sword. So with all of that said, we graded that as a five in the last video. Also, also in the last video, we talked about current card support buyouts and cards that have been seeing fluctuations are Utopic Zexel, which is a card that can absolutely be taken advantage of in the Numeron engine. Cards like Alistair the Invoker, because Invocation is gonna be easier to get your hands on, Alistair is actually going up in value because people are gonna be able to get Invocation in this product because it's getting reprinted, but Alistair is not. So that card is definitely going to go up in value as it has. Also, Memories of Hope, a card that can absolutely be abused in the Numeron engine, which essentially can let you draw four cards. Again, we talked about all of this in the last video. Because a lot of the cards in the marketplace that we've been able to gauge in their level of buy out, they haven't really stuck so far. So with that said, we went ahead and graded this as a three in the last video. Definitely a lot of opportunity for cards to continue to go up in value. All right, so our first new metric for this video is meta relevance. So all of the cards that I think have a level of meta relevance, whether now or in the future. So obviously, the Numeron engine, and I went over this thoroughly in my part one video, but essentially Numeron wall can search Numeron network, which is the field spell, which is the core of this engine. Numeron network allows you to activate a Numeron spell card from your deck and that lets you activate Numeron Calling. Numeron Calling allows you to special summon up to four Numeron Gate number monsters from your extra deck, which are Eggsy Monsters, which are the cards that are coming out in this product, which is the number one, two, three, and four Numeron Gate Monsters. They all have the same effect. You can either Eggsy these monsters into Utopic Zexel, probably for a going first strategy, but if you're going second, you can immediately just blow up your opponent by being able to continue to double all of their attack tax all the way up to 8,000 and then just being able to completely take the game. This is an engine that can be easily used in Eldritch and Dragma, cards that really don't need their extra deck and it's definitely going to be abused in the meta and definitely something that you guys should be keeping your eye on and be ready for. Next, Fire Flint Lady. It's an easy extender for a warrior archetype, especially for Infernoble Knights because it is a fire warrior and Infernoble Knights is going to be coming in Rise of the Doom we've already gotten some support from Toon Chaos. It's an extender. If you have a warrior monster in the field, special summon it to the field. You can send it to the graveyard and then special another level four or lower warrior monster from your hand.
can to the field. So definitely a very good extender. We'll be seeing some level of play in the meta. Then we have all of the reprints of cards that are already in the meta right now. So we have O-Lion, Destruction Sword, and Cross Sheep are getting rarity bumps. We're getting Artifact, Sanctum, and Invocation. Now, there definitely are other probably more meta relevant cards like bigger hitters like Borlode Savage or Appaloosa or Extravagance, those types of cards that could have gotten reprinted, but they didn't, but these are definitely cards that are seen in the meta right now. I had to give this a five. Because of the Numeron engine, it's going to be changing the meta as we know it. People are gonna have to start siding against it. I believe it boosts the metric for this product up to a five on its own. The next metric is gonna be collector's value, fan favorite anime support. We're gonna be getting anime imports from Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, which is Jim Crocodile, which you can see in the middle. We're gonna be getting imports from Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexel, which is the Numeron engine from Don Thousand, which you can see on the left here. And then we're gonna be getting imports from Robopi, from Yu-Gi-Oh! Vrains, which you can see as the character on the right. Not only that, the Numeron engine is numbers one, two, three, and four. And there's other cards coming in this product, which now provides the Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG all numbers from zero all the way up to 107. And because of that, number hunters are gonna be all over this product wanting to get all of the number cards so they can complete their collection. And because we're gonna be getting all the number cards, Konami decided they were gonna give us Utopia, which is the most beloved Eggsy's number monster, which is the ace monster from Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexel. They're giving us a starlight rare version of him in an alien language from the show. I believe it's astral language. And that is definitely gonna be a card that's gonna be probably $500 up to $1,000, who knows? It's gonna have a ton of value to it. And then on top of that, because of this product, we have now hit 10,000 unique cards in the TCG. Thus, we're now getting 10,000 Dragon, which has its own special rarity, also going to be very hard to get. There is so much collector value in this product. I had to go ahead and grade this a five. Next is influencer and consumer hype on social media, which which actually is pretty crazy to me. People have been very hard on this product. People have been very disappointed. I think people have been expecting reprints like Savage Dragon, Appaloosa, which they're not seeing in this product. So I think people have been underwhelmed which really blows me away because of the Numeron engine. And I've actually been seeing that a lot from a lot of different influencers as well. I, I mean, there are people that do see the value in this product for sure. But I would say the people that are a lot more vocal about their opinions have been more on the negative side. So interestingly enough, I scored this one a two because I really couldn't find a ton of positive things about this product. There are some, but there's definitely a lot more people that are being negative. Next is product value versus cost. MSRP is $3.99 per pack. It is an all foil set. So you're gonna be getting ultra rares and a secret rare in every single pack. But there's a lot of value in cards like Utopia, like 10,000 Dragon, the Numeron Engine. There's rarity upgrades that we're getting in this product. I definitely feel it is a good product that has a lot of good bang for your buck. So I'm gonna go ahead and grade this as a four. Next is reprint value and rarity bumps. So I've already talked about we're getting rarity bumps for O-Lion, Destruction, Sword, and Cross Sheep, which is really good. We're getting reprints of Artifact Sanctum, Danger, Jackalope, and Invocation. This isn't necessarily their highest rarities. They're very good cards that are definitely within like the 10 to $20 range. So it's definitely great to be seeing reprints to help drive down the value for those cards. And then we're gonna be getting the YCS 2018 prize card, Chaos Dragon, Armageddon. There's definitely other reprints that are coming as well, but I think these are the most notable. But because we're not getting reprints like Savage Dragon, Appaloosa, and stuff like that, that would really drive up the value. I'm gonna give this a four, and I would say it's almost a three, but because we're getting those rarity upgrades for meta relevant cards, I think a four is definitely the right value for this metric. So guys, that wraps up this analysis. So with all of the scores in, the risk percentage for Battles of Legend Armageddon is an 81%, which is a night and day difference. I believe it was about a 70% in our initial analysis, but we did not have a lot of the cards spoiled yet for what we were gonna be getting in this product. Now that we know we're getting a Numeron engine, now that we know we're gonna be getting like really amazing collector value cards for Utopia, 10,000 Dragon. Now definitely looking back, I did not invest in it because I felt there was a lot of risk because the cards that Konami did spoil to us and let us know that we're coming, 
really weren't that great. And it wasn't anything that gave me enough comfort to invest in the product. In product like Battles of Legend, usually Konami gives you a little bit more of a spoiler of the better cards that are coming in the product, which they didn't do in this. So because of that, I didn't invest in it. But if you guys did invest in it, I think it's a safe investment. I think this product should see a good return. I think this product will see value over time, especially with cards like the Starlight Utopia 10,000 Dragon. I think that can help this product age very well. So if you guys bought in cases, I would consider to either hold them and see what the market does to see what the value is for these cards as they come out into the TCG. Otherwise, it might be a good product to just go ahead and open and sell singles of. And we'll see what the ratios are. I'm very interested to see what the ratios are gonna be for Utopia and 10,000 Dragon, because those cards are definitely going to be the cherry on top of this product. So guys, that does it for the updated risk analysis for Battles of Legend Armageddon. What do you think? Do you guys disagree with me? Do you agree with me? Let me know down in the comments below. I know my opinion is definitely very controversial. I tried to be as un bias as possible when I put these metrics together and let the numbers talk and 81% is a high metric and definitely shows that it might be a safer investment. But these are metrics that I've developed. So definitely do your own research, come to your own conclusions, but I'd love to get your feedback, guys. Let me know down in the comments section below. If you guys haven't done it already, like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. Hope you guys enjoyed the content. Thanks for stopping by and I hope you have a good one.